Another day, another set of drama with the Marvels. This is this 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 this, this movie seems to be constantly causing problems with itself. The amount of delays it has had over and over again. It's it's not it's not looking good. I mean, Captain Marvel first movie wasn't good. The only reason people went and see it is because it was sandwiched between it to two Avengers movies and then they lied and told that you know that you know you had to see them in order to see and games so people went there, but people don't really dig Captain Marvel in the comics they don't dig they didn't dig Brie Larson it's Captain Marvel you know but now apparently there's some back and hell going on on the set because Brie Larson is being kind of a diva and wants certain things and has problems with certain people let's get into this article here from bonding into comics Rumor, the Marvel's latest delay the result of Brie Larson's diva behavior. It's just a shit show. Every report I've heard in regards to the Marvels keeps saying that you know this is not looking good. It's going to be a terrible movie. They've had to go back and look at it. It's not, it's not, well, I have no, no explanation whatsoever for this. In the same way that a self-important public persona wrecked any hopes of Captain Marvel ever ever becoming one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's most genuinely beloved characters. It seems Brie Larson's dissatisfaction with being demoted from her franchise's leading lady to one of its many ensemble members is proving disastrous for the Marvel's production. Now, why I would believe this whole thing with, with, with her behavior that if you, if you would remember Right? When I think it was Endgame or something was coming out and stuff. But all these reports about her having problems with the rest of the Avengers cast, how people didn't like her, they didn't like her attitude and her behavior. All of this was just going on and it didn't seem to really show that people were kinda interested in what she wanted. It kinda had some problems going on there as well. So more than perhaps any other MC effort thus far, the Marvels has had to say the least a rough time taking off. In addition to the aforementioned mid-production shift from a Carol Danvers solo sequel to a Marvel family adventure, the film has also suffered four total release delays, with its original July 28, 2023 premiere having ultimately been pushed back to its current date of November 10th, 2023. Talked about last in our previous video. Uh, yeah. And while three of these delays were the result of Marvel's panicked rescheduling of its future phases in response to audiences' lackluster reception to phase four, when people pretty much said Marvel could Marvel and AMC could, could just go screw themselves. The latest was apparently caused by last, listen to this, refusal to work with her co-star Monica Fodon Rambo actress Tiona Paris. So apparently there's some big drama now she don't want to work with the woman and all of this. I don't know why you know that me but all this drama is going on on um thing. But you know I was speaking to the topic during the March night episode of his film and critic John Roach's The Hot Mic podcast. And let's see what what he had to say. And really, I don't think this will really surprise anybody who's plugged into the industry. But I've heard again, don't get mad at me. I've heard Bree is a nightmare. Yeah, because like I said, even people with the Avengers uh, thing had a problem with us. I'm not really all that surprised. I don't think I'm the first person to say that. I've heard she's, she, she really clashed with Tiona Paris. It has led to some strife and that is sort of behind the the delay so yeah she has a problem with that now okay um pressed by Roach for further information on the situation Snyder made it clear that their conversation was entering the realm of gossip but it's gossip from a good place before revealing I've heard first of all she was upset that the movie is called The Marvels yeah I can understand that it's not Captain Marvel 2 he added everyone else has like Thor or everything like that, this is the Marvels. She's an Oscar winner, Snyder continued. Brie Larson's an Oscar winner and they have a certain expectation of the way 
they are going to be treated. Okay. Let's stop the front. Yes, yes, she is, yes, she is, she is an Oscar winner. She has a certain expectation of the way she's supposed to be treated. Okay. But when you have Spider-Man, Spider-Man we home, Spider-Man coming, Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Captain America, First Avenger, Captain America, Civil War, you have Hulk, you have Thor, you have uh, Thor Dark World, Thor Ragnarok. These, these things happen because these characters, and yes, I only mentioned male characters, but I'm just saying, these, 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 this happened because these characters were liked, they were big hits, they were done really well, and people enjoyed them. DC, I mean, DC, Marvel, or should I say MCU, has abandoned that and decided to go down the route of Marvel's all new, all diverse lines and that nearly, nearly kill, nearly kill their comics. But, you know, that's it. You have to understand when it comes to Captain Marvel. It was, or the movie was, was originally supposed to be called Captain Marvel 2. But due to the poor performance, Yes, it made over a billion dollars. Yes, Captain Marvel made over a billion dollars. But, but that was just because people thought they had to see it in order, to, in order to get some clue as to end game. What the public was saying and what they have noted again and again is that they don't like Captain Marvel. Not really a big fan of Brie Larson either, but they don't like Captain Marvel. The movie did not carry itself well at all. It didn't. They made changes and all kinds of things. That's, that's ridiculous, but then that's what they did. So when they put up with Captain Marvel 2, it was not going to be good. So they decided let's add Ms. Marvel and Monica Rambo. They could have still called it Captain Marvel 2, but they had to understand they knew the backlash they would get, so decided to call it the Marvels. And hopefully for some of you know people, people might want to cope. But then again, as I say, you have Ms. Marvel. A show that performed very poorly on um, Disney Plus. You have Monica Rambo, who was only in a couple of episodes of Wonder Vision, and you have um, Captain Marvel, a character people have turned at a gate. And now you have talks of Brie Lasner having a problem with the Monica Rambo actress, and and she's upset. She's upset that you know the movie isn't called Captain Marvel too. Gotta to understand. You couldn't, you couldn't carry it alone. But I understand where she's coming from. I'm just saying, the reality is, she couldn't carry it alone. She was cast as Captain Marvel before everything, before there was a director, before there were writers, he recalled. She's Captain Marvel. She, she thinks of this as uh, this is her movie, right? Rather than this is a Marvel movie that she's the star of. This is how it's been described to me. And yet, on the red carpet, when she was asked, when she was like, uh, I don't know, does, it, does, it, does it, any, anybody even want me to play it anymore? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know who else had a Marvel movie built around them before anything came into place? Snyder asked rhetorically. That would be two-time Oscar winner Maheshala Ali with Blade. Got a new director in November. Here we are five months later, still no update. On casting, yeah, they drove a stake into the heart of this Blade movie. From what I understood, because I did a video on it, eh? what they had planned for it was beyond horrible. That's the only way to put it: beyond horrible. See what I'm going, see where I'm going with this stuff. He then inquired. Brie Larson, an Oscar winner, but he shall Ali, a two-time Oscar winner. These people want things done a certain way, and. They carry the weight to get their way, and yet he concluded sometimes this causes delays. As noted above, should Marvel not make any more scheduling changes, the Marvels is currently on track to crash into theaters on November 10th. And yeah, but, okay. As I stated before, and I will say again, we understand her issue and her problem. I get that. But... Phase 4 was such an unmitigated disaster. Marvel and Disney Message have lost so much money because people are just tired of it. The same way, the same way that they're just tired with, um, with, um, what do you call it, um, Star Wars, same way they're just getting tired with the MCU. 
Ant-Man is basically a flop at this point. I saw the movie, I did a, did a review for it, but Ant-Man is pretty much just a flop at the box office right now. It's it's pretty much, the, it's not, not even going to make as much as the first movie probably, but that's just it. And now you have, and now you have problems coming out, uh, rumors coming out again about problems in regards to the Marvels. What we learned about what they actually planning to do with the Marvels movies is terrible. And now we hear Brie Larson is upset because, you know, trying diva tantrums because the movie isn't called Captain Marvel 2. The MCU has, has pretty much gutted itself. And this is the kind of crap that, 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 that we're getting right now, but this is the update when it comes to the Marvels. More drama, more back and now. This movie is pretty much set setting up to be a bust. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, wish sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Invite every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.